What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Uh, without further ado, let's dive right into Benny Dorm. This is episode three from season six. Let's get it. Good morning, sunshine. Another day in paradise. Oh, I think we missed breakfast, but oh, it was certainly worth it. Uh, oh. Ah, it's gay Derek. All of that. Hi, Donald and Jacqueline. Have you heard the news about Big Donna? Is she all right? No. No, she was certainly not all right. Oh, what's wrong? Jacqueline, I think you may be in need of a stiff one before I tell you what's happened. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you said... Oh, sorry. You meant a drink. I'll get them in. You go and get the sunbeds. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> no, I'm not apologising to no one. It wasn't Clive's fault our Michael got a tattoo. He wasn't there. Then why was he so defensive? You punched him in the face. I didn't punch him in the face. He pushed me and I pushed him back. It amounts to the same thing. All right, well, if I do that to you, is that the same as punching you in the face? Did you just push me? No, I, I was just showing you. Did you just push me? All right, Jan, calm down. Excuse me, do you need any assistance? What, defending myself against him? You must be joking. It's Mr Gravy, isn't it? Garvey. I feel it's very fair to inform you that your behaviour last night did not go unnoticed. What? In fact, far from it. Under the new Solana Group directive, we are now required to log all activities of known troublemakers. Known troublemakers? You're taking the piss, aren't you? 10.38. Threatening behaviour and using obscene language towards Solana staff. You've got to be joking. We apologise. I'll keep my eye on him. No, whoa, on. whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. I'm not apologising to nobody. You're telling me you're going to write down the name of every person in this hotel who swears? Cos you're going to need a damn sight bigger book than that. 10.39. More swearing and shouting. Damn isn't swearing and that wasn't shouting. I'd keep my head down if I were you. Being arrested at an airport isn't the best start to anybody's holiday. No need to make things worse. What did you know about that? You're a guest in my hotel, Mr Gravy. It's my business to know. And it's Garvey. <laughs> Come on. You don't know how to be quiet sometimes, the man. man's an animal. I regret the day I let my daughter marry him. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Is it? You said you were going to rip his head off this morning. Shut up, you. Oh, and you'd be right to. It's the only language people like that understand. And after the things he said he was going to do to you. Oh, yeah? What things? Oh, I'm not one for telling tales. I just mind my own business. Although some of the things he was saying about you'd make your hair curl. Well, like you, we're not ones for telling tales. Go on. Oh, no. I'm not getting involved. But I do think he had a cheek going on about how short you are. He's not exactly the jolly green giant himself. And who's he to call you ugly? As I said to my daughter last night, I'm sure you make up for it in personality. <laughs> right. Enjoy your morning. Oh, she was quiet, all right. Morning. Okay, team, I won't keep you very long. Just to say that we have now, more or less, weeded out the last of the bogus wristbands. All genuine Solana residents have now been issued with the new pink style band. But if anybody is acting suspicious, please ask them for their room number and check against the database. How do we do that? Sorry? Well, if we're sitting behind the pool bar, we want to find out if someone is genuine resident and they haven't just bought their wristband in a pub. How do I check the database? Um... Oh, we asked them to describe their room. Very good, Mateo. Glad to see someone's thinking on their feet. And <laughs> if they say it is nice and comfortable, we know we are smelling the rats. <laughs> uh, send them to the front desk. I'll check their identity. <coughs> Morning. What's that? 
What's it got to do with you? You're bringing it into my hotel. That's what it's got to do with me. And now it's going into my salon, so keep your fat nose out. <laughs> wow. I think you've got a lovely nose. Class dismissed. Think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Yes. <laughs> wow. Right. I'll put the coffees on. You keep an eye out for grot bags. And when the coast is clear, we get this shifted around to the pool bar. I don't think we're going to get away with this. That's what the Truckle Brothers said. And look at them now. <laughs> Can't believe it. I thought McDonough would live forever. It's certainly a lot to take in. When did it happen? Last Friday, at the Bogner Regis Over 60s Bisexual Alliance. Oh, heck, that's a mouthful. Apparently, those were Big Donna's last words. Really? Is that how she died? Oh, I'm afraid so. Well, that does surprise me. People always used to say she could breathe through her ears. Yes, I. I think that was just a figure of speech. I suppose we've missed the funeral. Oh, it's today. And Pandy Jackson's pie shop are having a late night opening as a mark of respect. Oh, lovely. Well, they've realised now that Donna's dead. They'll probably be out of business by the end of the month. Oh, Donna. Why don't we have another drink? Toast a life well lived. Oh, yes. Two. Triple chocolate fudge martinis with butterscotch sauce and whipped cream. It's what she would have wanted. Sugar drim? No. Let's just have the drinks. <laughs> He's not happy with you, that Clive. Mother, just leave it. You'd have heard the things he was saying about you this morning. He was turning the air blue. I'm surprised you've got time for an holiday, Madge. What with shit stirring being a full-time job for you these days. There's no <laughs> need for language like that. I know you've had no education, but there's no reason to drag everybody down to your level. Who are you texting? No, oh, Michael. Oh, you won't see him again today. Not after the baton you gave him last night. Never laid a finger on that lad. Never mind Childline. I'm surprised he hasn't had Esther Ransom's mobile number tattooed on his other arm. Oh, when is this ever going to stop? You what? The lies, the nastiness, the constant embarrassment of a bony, venom-spitting carcass who has no consideration for anyone but herself. Who are you talking about? You! I'm talking about you! Who did you think? Well, I knew it wasn't our Janice. She's never been what you could call bony. Look, there you go again. All right, that's enough. Honest to God, you're like kids. Is there any chance at all we could just sit here and have one peaceful morning? Just a few hours without screaming, shouting, arguing or causing a fuss. <laughs> What the friggin' hell is this? <laughs> oh, dear. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's go! Martin! Wow, he's back. <laughs> Never. I'm sorry, I thought this guy was naked. <laughs> shit, my bad. Oh, shit, I thought this guy was naked. Hold on, let me go back just a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> In all my years in the travel industry, and that includes four years under Richard Branson, have I witnessed such appalling behaviour? I know. They just sat there, open mouthed, just looking at us. Not one of the miserable bastards joined in. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's not as if you're kids that can be put across somebody's knee. Grown men, the lot of you. Oh, yeah, you can put me across <laughs> your knee. You know, there's only one thing I like better than a MILF, and that's a good MILF with attitude. <laughs> what on earth is a gamilf? You're ridiculous. I mean, how old are you? 42? A gamilf stands for a grandmother I'd like to... 42? 42? Sorry, is that a joke? I'm 36. Look, 
I know this isn't exactly Saint Tropez, it's Benidorm, but we must have standards. Therefore, I'm going to have to ask you to pack your bags and leave the premises. A partial refund will be sent to you via your travel agent within 28 days. No, 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 Joyce. I'm getting married. My commiserations to the bright. Oh, thank you. And, well, look, I asked my best man, Martin, where in the world should I go and spend my last few days as a free man? And can you guess what he said to me? Something like, please take a step back. Your breath is beginning to affect my vision. <laughs> he said, Benidorm. <gasps> and as Martin is in charge of my stag weekend, Benidorm is where we came. And Benidorm is where you can stay. Just not in my hotel. Look, I, I, don't, I don't mean to be vulgar, but my friend is mind-numbingly rich. He's right. And I'm sure we can, you know, sort out any problems with a, with a, with a large donation to, you know, you. My decision is final. This is a four-star establishment. We do not cater for overprivileged idiots. So you can take yourselves and your inherited money elsewhere. Look, there's about... 400 euros there. Is there any chance of getting some breakfast by the pool? I'll have it sent over straight away. Boys, we're in. Let's go! Party! So you've definitely got a spare plug socket. Do you mean for electricity? Of course. What is it for? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Suffice to say, there won't be one person at the salon that doesn't know that the grand reopening of Blow and Go is fine. Stop talking. <laughs> Love. Hiya. Yeah. Can I have three beers and an orange juice, please? Hiya. I'm Liam. Go away. No, I won't go away. Don't be so rude. Look, I have work to do. How many times I have to tell you to stop with your interfere? Just because I haven't got muscles of a tan doesn't make me any less of a man than you are. Just go. I said you can put your plug in my socket later. Just make sure nobody find out. <laughs> go. Your friend all right? Of course. He can be a little, how'd you say, sensitive. Yeah, he looks it. Listen, there was um, a barman here yesterday. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Ah, uh, yes. We have big trouble with this one. He has gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone. Finished. Goodbye. He left town. We were supposed to have a date. Really? With this one who was here? Oh, no. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Listen, this one, he was no good for you. You need a nice guy. A man who will take care of you. A man who appreciates your style. Your beauty. Thanks. I'll keep looking. I hope everything works out with your boyfriend. <laughs> what? Hey! Come back. I didn't know the Mufalata. <laughs> well, look who's still here. Eight pints and Jaeger bomb chasers, if you please. Get them in! 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 You still haven't told me exactly what this is. Shh! I said it's our new advertising campaign, which incidentally is going to make us so much money, your little russet gusset is going to be as damp as an otter's pocket. Now, as the Catholic priest said to the altar boy, get your end up. Ho oh, oh. uh. <laughs> ho! <laughs> Undiluted scum. Oh, they are a bit rowdy. Oh, and here comes our Michael. That's another screaming match to add to the madness. No, it's not. What's done is done. Wasn't exactly your attitude last night. Thought you were going to skin the lad alive. Don't start that rubbish again. We'll get the tattoo removed when we get home, and while we're here, we'll keep it covered up and say no more about it. Agreed? Yeah. Madge, agreed? Nothing to do with me. Hiya, son. Did you have a nice sleep in? Yeah, a bit, but then I went to the shops. Did you get out good? Dad, I know you're real mad at me about getting this tattoo. No, no, I, I was just saying, son, I'm sorry for shouting at you last night. Let's just forget about it till we get home, eh? I just wanted to say, though, it wasn't the other lad's fault, it wasn't Tiger's fault, it was mine. I got drunk and I wanted the tattoo. Don't stop me hanging around with him. I mean, it's the only person here who's my age. 
can hang around with me. Please. We'll see. Hey, shall we go for a swim? No, I bought you all presents to say I'm sorry. Oh, Michael, you didn't have to do that. Oh, oh. Very sweet. <gasps> Dad. And then I'll get you some cigs. Oh, Michael, it's beautiful. Do you not like yours, Dad? I'm sorry I shouted at you, son. I'm sorry for being an idiot. Come here. Beautiful moment. Oh. I love you, son. Never forget that. Yeah? yeah? I love you. And I wonder where the money came from to buy all these presents. Don't be so bloody ungrateful! He's got his spending money. Not that sort of money. Them watches aren't market rubbish. They're the real thing. I should know. Yeah, cos you're dripping in designer jewellery, aren't you? He's been on the rob. I know that guilty, embarrassed face. <laughs> I've seen it often enough. What, every time you look in the mirror? Me? What have I got to look guilty about? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're a nasty, complaining, ungrateful old woman who can't open her mouth without either being rude or hurting someone's feelings. <laughs> God, for God's sake, Michael! I'll go. <laughs> hey. Trust him to get the cheap ones. <laughs> but you're whining. This is crazy. It's not even midday. Yeah, look, put that in for us. You can't leave all this wire trailing everywhere. It's a health and safety hazard, man. That's rich coming from a chain smoking tranny in an island wig. <laughs> I'm off to get judged. Okay, okay, I think it's cool to some slightly more organised drinking games. Barman, bring us two tables, a broom, and 50 shots over that far corner. Hey, hey, I am not your slave, and we have no games for drinking. This is against the rules. Sorry, where are my manners? I forgot to give you a tip. I do not need your money. I suggest you little boys go down to the beach and play your stupid games there. What size boom did you want? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. She's quite impressive, isn't she? She's incredible. I've never seen anything so amazing in my life. She only cost me 50 euros for the week. What? Mind you, I did have to provide my own lettering. What the hell's going on? It's just a bit of advertising for the salon. Get that shifted now. Oh, what is your problem? I'm bringing a free attraction to the hotel. Kids love inflatables. See? <laughs> I think he's stuck. <laughs> no, no. Three <laughs> <No. laughs> It just doesn't say Solana. Yes, it does, along the bottom. No, I mean, it doesn't fit in with our brand. It's big, loud, tacky and too noisy. Talking of which, can't you do something about Prince Harry and his squadron over there? I don't see what the problem is. We've had stag parties here before. Yes, and you always come down on them like a ton of bricks when they start getting rowdy. <gasps> which one are you shagging? I beg your pardon. Oi! If you don't get those idiots shifted from out that pool, I'll shift them for you. And believe me, you don't want that. Oh, for goodness sake, what's wrong with you all? It's not as if they're hurting anyone. <laughs> get that shifted. <laughs> Yo, they are crazy. Come on, let's go outside. It's daft to be stuck in here when it's lovely and sunny out there. I've really messed up this time, haven't I? No, not really. At least I spelt it right. You didn't pinch them watches, did you? No. Oh, I've got the receipt here. €190 Euros for two watches. Where did you get that sort of money? Busking. Buskin? Yeah, Michael's an amazing singer. Breakdancer? Uh, dancer. 
I meant to say break dancer. So you two were break dancing in Benidorm and got all that money? Yeah. This time next year we'll be millionaires. Maybe I should get your dad a roll of lino so he can go out and spin on his head. We could do with the money. Right. You kids stay out of trouble. See you later. Did she buy that? Hmm. You've been flashing the cash, Mikey. Well, don't worry. I'm sure we can find ourselves another little scam. It's just a question of looking hard enough. Gentlemen and lady, as much as it pains me to interrupt your celebrations, I'm afraid we have a slight problem. Ah, oh, you could see that. It has been brought to my attention that you are all position nowhere near the bar. So I have appointed Leslie, our head barmaid, to be your personal cocktail waitress for the rest of the day. That's right, and if we hear another people, oh, what? Am <laughs> I to take it that you two are now members of this stag party? Uh, Jacqueline and I have a relationship with Martin that goes back years, don't we, Martin? Um, kind of. We've had some very sad news about a dear friend, and the boys are helping us get over her. I remember the first time I needed help getting over Big Donna. Took 25 minutes and an indoor trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> I have prepared the indoor reception bar with premium vodkas and high-quality nuts. <laughs> so if you'd all like to follow Leslie, I'm sure you'll be safe in her very capable, if slightly oversized hands. <laughs> Leslie! Well, I think she's mad. This place could be like Disneyland, but no, she's dead set on it being like Tenko, but without the glamour. Oh. What is Tenko? <sighs> Don't you blaspheme in this salon. What is Tenko? Only Stephanie Beecham's finest hour. It's a TV show from the 1980s. I've got all the DVDs. You can't compare the Solana to a Japanese prisoner of war camp. You what? A bunch of sweaty Brits spending endless days trapped abroad in blistering heat and appalling conditions. Not only that, Temple Savage bears more than a pattern resemblance to Bert Quack when she's looking at the sun. Oh, I cannot listen to more of this. Oh, cheers, Matteo, love. Thank you. Oh. Did you see her? Who? Oh. The girl in the white bikini. No. What about her? I think I'm in love. Oh. Liam, love, for goodness sake, when are you going to stop kidding yourself? About what? You know what? You're camper than a bride and busk you. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not gay? Oh, the lady just protests too much. I'm not gay, I just don't like football. Last week when we went to Idols, you ended up on stage singing over the rainbow in a feather boa. And then on the last note, you went into full splits. Karaoke's not gay. All right, then. What is your all-time favourite TV programme? Oh, Dynasty, but only because I like the fashion. Mm. We all know fashion's not gay. What's your favourite song? I'm not playing this game! <laughs> oh, Liam, love. I'm just thinking about you. In ten years' time, when you're happily married, I don't want to see you sloping off down to the old town and queuing up for the noshing bench in some dingy gay bar when you should be putting your kids to bed. You should learn to accept people for who they are. Just because I don't fit into your stereotype of how a man should be doesn't give you permission to call me names. Tell him, Liam! I am what I am, and what I am needs no excuses. You go, boy. I'm Told you. Gay, so. Told you, boy. Your plans? Well, drinking, mainly, obviously. And of course, checking out the infamous Benidorm nightlife. Jonty wants to see Sticky Vicky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? what is wrong with you guys? Look, I've seen the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids of Giza, I've flown over the Grand Canyon, I've swam through the Great Barrier Reef, but that gets to a point in every man's life when he just has to see a 70-year-old stripper putting the flags of all nations out of her front bottom. <laughs> oh, we're very good friends with Vicky. Really? Is all the stuff Martin's been telling me true? Absolutely. But those Benidorm pubs can get quite rowdy. I would have thought men of your breeding would prefer a private... Performer. <laughs> she does private gigs. 
Oh, my God, this just gets more hilarious. Well, uh, no, but everyone has a price. With the right budget, I'm sure we could arrange something. Couldn't we, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. <laughs> What are you doing in there? I could ask you the same question. Hmm. I just needed some space. What can I get you, Sean? Well, it's a bit early, but I'll have a Campari and... a lager. I'll have a pint of lager. Since when did you start drinking lager? Since now. Aren't you supposed to be working downstairs? Well, I've been told after have to wait hand and foot on that stag party, but there's no way. Hey, don't get me wrong, I love my job. But I'm not skimming around after a load of posh knobs. I've got some pride. There you go, young'un. <laughs> Dad. Um, do you ever worry about what people think about you? <laughs> Come on, son, take a look at me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I, I, just, I just sometimes worry I don't really fit in. Where exactly is it you want to fit in? Good point. Can you remember what I used to tell you to do when the kids at school call you ginger nuts? Oh, yeah, you said, um... You said stamp on the bridge of their nose until they choke on their own blood. I will think you're saying it was your mother who said that. Oh, yeah. I said rise above it. They're just jealous because they wish they stood out from the crowd. Can you imagine how boring the world would be for all the same? Yeah, I know all that. I just... I sometimes think the way that I am is, is preventing me from meeting the right girl. Or any girl. You don't need to change who you are for anyone. The right girl is out there somewhere, young and it won't be long till she finds you. You know why? Why? Because your star shines brighter than anyone else's. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, Dad. What a Name. moment there. Do you want this pain? No, thanks, Dad. I'm all right. It's here, man! Hell yeah! Where did your dad put the turning pills? I don't think they're here. I think they've been chucked away. They must be in the grand's room. Have you got a key? Can't we just get some headache tablets and sell them? Headache tablets cost money, Mikey. As my old man says, it's all about profit margins. Oh, don't go in there. That's me and mum and dad's bedroom. You worried about what I might find? <laughs> hello, hello. What have we here? It's payday, Mikey boy. <laughs> you little beauties. It don't work. Put them back. I Put them back. I need a new key. There is no problem. Yeah, there is a problem, because I don't want to have to funny about like that every time I want to shit. All right, son, what are you doing? I was just showing Tiger on the apartment. Uh, lovely place you got in, Mr G. Well, better than the crappy rooms we're in. Yeah, well, we're regulars. Michael, why didn't you open the door? You could hear us trying to get in. I didn't know it was you. I'll get you another key. Uh, yeah, four of them. Right, I think we'll get out in the sun. All right, see you later. Catch you later, Mr. G. Enjoy your shower. <laughs> Moopy! Listen, Clive, I just wanted to say about last night, you know, it's been a stressful few days for all of us. And I think it's probably best all round if we just... What I mean is, you know, we're all here on holiday, supposed to be enjoying ourselves, so what is the point of... You know, what is the point of... I forgot what I was going to say now. Beer? Absolutely. Got the one of them, pal. Two more, please. Come right up. <laughs> Okay. What's this? Hello. Can I help you? 
<laughs> Are you part of the stag party? No, I always dress like this. Oh, right. OK, it, I'll knock on the door. I'm pretty sure the guy in here is the one who's getting married. Excuse so... me, excuse me, yes, I'm part of the stag party. Can I help you? You said you weren't. It was a joke. How can I help you? We were wondering if you're in the market for some shit. Some shit? Yeah. What do you mean, like, for the garden? A garden? Yes, like manure. Manure? What's that? Jeez. French? Manure, no, it comes out of a horse's bottom. Look, man, we've got most things. We've got leapers, moggies, snappers, dust, dollies, eggs, jellies, dings and turkeys. Just let us know what you want. And if you've got the lettuce, we got the candy. But we ain't got no manure. Please, hey, Pimp Diddy Martin! <laughs> See, you brought your bitches. They aren't my bitches. I think it's Bob a job week. Are you ready? Everybody's downstairs waiting. Drugs! He wants to know if you want to buy some drugs. Mikey, for God's sake, man! What's up, is? Drugs? You're selling drugs? How old are you? 12? I'm 16. And you? You should know better. If your father found out you were doing this, he'd Bloody well skin you alive. So is that a no then? Of course it's a no. Do we look like the kind of people who take drugs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Martin, go downstairs, get the shots lined up. I'll be down in turn. Come in, boys. Oh, my God. I didn't see this. Wow. He's blind as well as stupid. Now, come on, boys. Don't be like that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad kids. No, they're not, they're not. They're, they're good kids. But what we've got to remember is that we were teenagers, but we weren't teenagers in this day and age. We didn't have the internet. Didn't have the internet. Didn't have computer games. Television. You didn't have television? How old are you? And we didn't have the hundreds of channels they got now. Three channels we had. Aye. There's still twice as much to watch than the shite they've got on 300 channels now. Here, here. <sighs> so, what line of business are you in, then? I was in the tanning stroke sunbed trade, but, uh, well, bottom fell out of it, really. How about you? I'm in construction. Mm. The bottom hasn't fallen out of that. Yeah, I'm sure. He's had a complete prolapse. Seriously? I'm trying to ride it out. Between you and me, things ain't looking good. Mm. Still, you managed to come on holiday. How bad can things be? <laughs> yeah. Good bonding. <laughs> 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 What's going on here, then? I'm taking the boys out in a stag night. Don't worry, we'll be out of your hair momentarily. I don't suppose you've got room for one more, have you? I'm sorry, Leslie, it's a stag night. No women allowed. No, I don't mean for me, I mean for our Liam. He needs to broaden his horizons. I think a night out with the lads will do him the world of good. Absolutely, the more the merrier. So you're doing the full stag tour, then? The Shamrock, Loch Ness? Jokers, the red dog. <laughs> With the added bonus of a once-in-a-lifetime live show, Tacky Jackie, the show you can afford to see but can't afford to miss. Jackie, Jackie, as in your Jacqueline. Yes, we tried to book Sticky Vicky, but she's out of the country. And your missus is going to do the yacht instead. Yes. Do you know what time your lad will be coming down? Oh, it's all right. Uh, I think you'll probably sit this one out. But you said he wanted to broaden his horizon. No offence, but with your missus doing Sticky Vicky's act, there's a fine line between having your horizons broadened and being scarred for life. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. John T. Carmichael. Yay! Single man, reveal yourself. Yay! OK, bitches, let's get this show on the road. Donald, let the toad see the hole. Let's go! I'll probably be back before the end of the shift anyway, but any problems, just call my mobile. You have a good night. Hasta mañana. <sighs>
Okay, chief is gone. You can go now. Oh, thanks, Matty. You are gonna manage without me? Of course. Where are you going? I'm taking off all this slap. I'm gonna be a father to me soon. You're going to slap your son? I have felt this way many times. No, man, I'm taking our limb out for a pint. See you later. Bye-bye. Good dad. <laughs> wow. Uh, table for eight, please. Eight? Do you have my friends with people? Yeah, why? What's she going to do with you? One moment. You changed your tune, wanted to do it with that Clive. Last night you tried to kill him. Oh, don't exaggerate. OK, somebody will be back to take your order. Thanks, love. Hey, tell you what, Madge, why don't you go and sit with some of your friends? I'm sure we can find a single chair somewhere. Got her! Savage. She was in agony because she had, like, a crushing pain on her left nipple. So we're all panicking, rung the ambulance up, and we've all got around there, and... Uh, Anyway, it turns out she was stood on it. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Now, one more for the road. Evening, fellas. Have you lost your luggage? <laughs> oh, it's Donald. How are you, Donald? Well, hey, bloody hell. I can't believe you're still above ground. <laughs> hey, you put a bit of beef on, Donald. Have you eaten my hair, bed? Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> Step away from the comedian, boys. <laughs> Anyway, she, uh, she died after Christmas dinner. I once got buttonholed by Larry Grayson in the late 70s. These things can get quite messy. Guess how she died? Heart attack playing charades. <laughs> there you go, son. What are you drinking? Drop a Guinness. Did you want one? No, thanks. Oh. Oh. Why are you drinking that? Yeah, I don't know. Change is as good as the rest. Put hairs on your chest. <laughs> hey, I thought I might go down the red dog later. Why do you want to go down the red dog? Well, you know, have a few drinks. Maybe chat up a few losses. Why would you want to do that? Because I'm helping my son. I'm just being a father. Dad, what's going on? After all you said to me, why are you trying to be something you're not? Well, you're talking about, of course, I'm your father. No, I don't mean that. I mean, sitting in a noisy, smelly sports bar, watching two men knock seven bags of shite out of each other, wearing beige and drinking Guinness. Why would you want a drink that puts hairs on your chest? You're a transvestite. Well, I'm just trying to help you find a nice girl, son. Well, I thought I'm not exactly helping, taking you to drag bars in your town. I will find a nice girl, Dad, but in my own time. And I'll find her because she likes me for who I am. Wise words. They should be. They're yours. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm going to be myself, I want you to be yourself too. Fair enough? Aye, fair enough, fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get you back down the Solana and into something a bit more glamorous. Honestly, you are really embarrassing me dressed like that. Hey, thank God you said that. My feet have been killing us walking in these flat shoes. <laughs> <laughs> So, how have you been keeping Martin? Not bad, thanks. Keeping my head above water. Yourself? Oh, you know me. I have my fingers in many pies. Yes. Actually, I'm writing my memoirs at the moment. Really? How fascinating. Yes. Well, since we last met, I was arrested on a charge of fraud as a result of faking my own death. Good Lord. Oh, yes. Uh, the book is based on the diaries I kept during my six months in prison. It's not so much a memoir, more of a kiss and tell. Here you go, boys. Time to step it up again. These aren't from those kids at the Solana, are they? Oh, do be quiet, Martin. Don't. Uh, not for me, thanks. My wife and I went through a recreational drug phase many years ago. Jacqueline once spent four days on magic mushrooms thinking she was a bar now. <laughs> Took myself and the fire brigade six hours to coax her down a next door's tree. Amazing. <laughs> well, that was the easy bit. Apologising to the neighbours for her defecating heavily on their Ford Cortina was the sticky end of the wicket. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil, I think someone might need a bit of help loading her props, if you know what I mean. Back in a short while. 
Having fun, John T. Kidding, aren't you? You're having an amazing time. Here, get another one of these down your neck. When you asked me to organise your stag party, uh, well, I, I chose Benidorm as a bit of a joke, but I think the joke may have backfired. I mean, I'm not being vulgar, but you've got so much money, we could have gone anywhere in the world and, well... I've been everywhere in the world. This place is incredible. In three bars, we've seen Elvis, Amy Winehouse and Michael Jackson. It's like an amazing alcohol fueled singing graveyard. I'm sure the Benidorm Tourist Board will be begging you to use that quote. And now, Sticky Vicky, all in the same night. No, no, you did the right thing, amigo. Hey, they don't call you the best man for nothing. <laughs> did Donald not tell you about Sticky Vicky? What? She's on holiday. He's getting his wife to do the act. Tacky Jackie. This <laughs> <laughs> about. You know I've always had a little penchant for the more mature woman. Sticky Vicky, Tacky Jackie. As long as I get to see a sexy pensioner putting the flags of all nations from her Auntie Mary, I'm going to sleep a happy boy tonight. <laughs> Tacky Jackie, cold word. What do you mean you can't do it? I've tried, but I think it's stage fright. Everything seized up. Are you sure? Positive. I'll be lucky if I can get a Rizzler purple up there. What are we going to do? Remember the first rule of show business. The show must go on. No, never give them their money back. <laughs> I have had an idea. Yes? There's an old trick I remember from when my mother was a magician's assistant. It could work, but you'll have to give me a, a hand, so to speak. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong I gotta be me I gotta be me What else can I be? Live. Well, I must say, this is very pleasant. What, the food? No, making friends on holiday. Where's Burke and Air gone? Who? Michael. I'm the other one. I gave Michael and Tiger ten euros each to spend on the machines. That was very good to hear. Ten euros each? You're right in the head. It's the last you'll see of them tonight. They'll be eyes a kite, sniffing glue round the bins. Excuse me, Tiger does not sniff glue. All right, calm down. When did you start defending your brother? When she started to disrespect him. Respect? Ha! That's a joke. What do you know about respect? Trotting round the pool with your tits out and your high heels. <laughs> I think it's probably best if you don't judge my son or my daughter by your own very low standards, Madge. And who do you think you're talking to, you piss-face old cow? You know, I felt sorry for you when we first met. Married to him with a face like a ruptured ass. But it's him that deserves the sympathy for putting up with you. More drinks? Yes, and we'll have them over there. Come on. That's <laughs> right. Piss off. Sit with your own kind. Animals, the lot of you. I sit. Much more room. Gotta be me. Damn. I'll go it She'd be amazing to go shoplifting with. <laughs> He's a big finish, Donald. Can you hear me? A big finish. <laughs> Hang on. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. 
Well, I must say, I've seen the real Sticky Vicky, and this comes pretty close. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, taxi's outside there for you. Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, these are our door keys. There might be some missing. I think one or two of them slept in the hallways. I mean, we had quite a heavy night last night. And you forgot to take off your fancy dress makeup? No, we got sold some dodgy pills. Um, we had a pretty wild time, but they, um, well, they turned us orange. I can see this. Oh, and there's also there's quite a lot of damage in most of the rooms, but just, just bill it to my card, OK? Wakar. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? You cannot leave. You have to pay for your damage. Hostia! Miss Temple Savage! Miss Temple Savage! Miss Temple Savage! There are guests trying to leave, but they have destroyed their rooms. Miss Temple Savage? Uh, where are my glasses? I'm sorry, I had a bit of a late night last night. <laughs> So she took some too, guys. Holy crap. She took some too. So the tanning uh, pills, you know, pretty much Madge's stash right there. Does anybody feel that Madge was a little bit too harsh with her? Like, you know, um, I know that's her and stuff, but does anybody feel like she's a little bit too savage at some times? Um, it would, cause I was liking the, uh, bonding aspects between the Garveys and, um, you know, Clyde's family. I thought, you know, I, th I thought they kind of gel well, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I felt like she just like overkilled. Like if, if you guys are familiar with Mortal Kombat, she just goes in for the fatality every freaking time. And it's like, damn, like. Like, I would have been like, damn, I would have just moved back a little bit, just let the fireworks keep going on. I got to give some damn credit to uh, Tacky. I was going to, yeah, Tacky Jackie. I was going to say Tacky Wacky. Shit. Tacky Jackie. Let that be, um, I believe we said that was going to be the code word. If you made it this far, just want to say thank you. Um, just loving the show. I think having Martin back, um, w was really cool to have him back there. Having this kind of stag party, um, you know, kind of lightens up the show a little bit in the sense where it brings it a little bit more younger because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a pool area, you know, you have this nightlife and, um, you know, yes, there's a, you know, a lot of fairly, you know, um, kind of like older cast. So it kind of, uh, you know, makes it a little younger, for, uh, even if it's for just one episode where you can see a little bit of the party action. Um, beautiful moments between um, Liam and, and Leslie. They really do have good, um, you know, you could really feel the, um, the love between father and son. And um, it, it's, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? When they share that moment, you know, melts my heart. Um, the song that was played in the Neptune, basically, you know, be yourself. Um, you know, it's yeah, Liam, just be yourself. You're going to get that, you know, you're going to get a girl, um, but you got to be yourself because you want people to like you for who you are. For example, if you're naturally a loud person, that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like if you get a hype all of a sudden, you're like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? If that's you, be you, you know what I'm saying? If you're naturally quiet. That's, that's who you are, you know what I'm saying? If you're shy, you know, that's, you know, don't try to change too much of yourself because a lot of times we are all amazing in our own way and, you know, don't try to be someone else because you shine bright in your own lane. So, you know, it's like me, I be myself, I go, it's like this, this is the way I approach life. Don't care what's going on left or right of me. Don't, I honestly don't give a shit uh, because I just, you know, got to be myself. And if you're not yourself, then, you know, you just, you just, you know, you're just fooling yourself. So, um, you know, Liam thinking about like who he's going to be. Um, hopefully I, I'm hoping he does get the the girl, um, you know, Tiger's sister. 
hoping he gets her because he, yeah, he, he's, it, it's like life stopped. You know, you see this pretty girl and now you're pitching her running in like a flower field and she's like just running beautiful. That, that was him. Mateo, definitely, you know, he want to smash that. Um, Joyce Temple Savage, she's awesome. She is a great addition to the show as well. And her, you know, try to play it very strict and then she quickly sells out for the right price. You know what I'm saying? Money does buy some things, and, uh, you know, sometimes money gets some free passes. Uh, you know, you get a little bit of free leeway, especially at least in this show. It happens, uh, you know, like, here, there's a couple of, you know, a uh, hundred year, a couple hundred years, you know, yeah, let me do my thing. Hey, I'm going to bring you breakfast right now. So she forgot everything that she said, and, uh, you know, I found that hilarious. Donald uh, chilling out with them with the stag. Party was great. Um, good to see it. I, I always like those type of vibes, those kind of, uh, you know, party vibes. Um, I ain't much of a party guy, so seeing it through shows is always really cool. Um, you know, I'm not about that club life. You know, it's not for me, never will be. So when I see these things in the show, I I, I, I like watching it. It's very entertaining. Um, uh, oh, yes. She is the best. Uh, she's my MVP. Uh, for this episode, although there were so many um, good moments there. Another touching moment between uh, Mick and Michael. He did spend a lot of money. He did use his money probably from selling all the, uh, what you call it, the wristbands. So we're going to see. I definitely think Tiger's a bad influence on him. But at the same time, it's good dynamic for them because Michael's right. And, you know, we mentioned it before that, you know, it, he he needs someone younger. I mean, you can only hang out with your pop so much and stuff. You need to hang out with people your own age to have a little fun. You know, you go on a family vacation, it's cool, but, you you know, you make make some friends on vacations. I've done that, went on a couple of vacations, uh, and, like, you interact with people out there. Make little small friends, even if it's just for that moment. And it's it's those are memorable things. I still remember some from vacations that I had, even little small trips going to like Poconos. Uh, you know, you meet people, the locale people, and it's it's awesome experiences. The show is great. I do love the new family edition with it. I think they're gonna be like it definitely feels they're gonna be button heads a lot with Madge there. Um, yeah, shit's gonna go down. It just it's just uh only a matter of time, I feel. But yeah, great to see Martin. It was nice seeing him uh, since we haven't seen him for a while. And um, I think he did great when he was coming out with that suit. That was freaking hilarious. So st if the question is, is kids still enjoying uh, Benny Dorm? Check that shit off, boys and girls, because we're still loving it. It's still enjoyable. And we're just going to keep seeing what happens with the Gravy family, uh, uh, a.k.a. the Garveys. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue some more journey. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Be safe, be well, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love. Peace.